Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Right, today we're going to have a quick look at a DC and DC converter. I purchased this off of eBay uh, off a seller called Margie17. Uh, she's in, or he is in the UK. And it came within a couple of days. Uh, it was a grand total of £2.37. Now, I actually want this for a project where I'm using a single cell LiPo, which is about 4 volts, but I need about 10, 11 volts. And I didn't want to use a multiple cell LiPo. I actually want to use an 18650 for this project, which will be coming up soon. So I thought I'll try one of these. As you see, I haven't even opened it yet. So that's what we're going to do today. Was we're going to open it up, connect it up, and see what we get all right it's quite a small module it's about 15 uh, i would say 15 millimeters by 30 millimeters you can probably see by the size of the pot and it actually quotes let's uh, just change the page all right, it can have an input of 2 to 24 volts and uh, output up to 28 volts uh, maximum current's 2 amps. Da -da -da -da. It's got a 4 amps internal switch current limit as well. And the, the main thing is the voltage is adjustable. So I can bring in my 3.7 volts. Actually, turn it around. Bring in my 3.7 and out my 10. They're quoting it's 97% efficient. Uh, yeah, I know these things are efficient, but... Uh, yeah don't think you're going to be anywhere near that i reckon probably more light 90 but i think buy it for its efficiency right let me just get some wires on this and i'll get back to you right we're back hopefully the uh, noise of the fan from uh, the homemade power supply doesn't interrupt too much just tack some wires on if you can see that into my power supply all right let's set the voltage uh, it's on 2 volts at the moment, but uh, I'm going to set that to 3.7 which is like the nominal, I will get used to this, 3.7 which is like the nominal voltage for uh, an 18650. Right, let's set the current up, uh, let's put an amp, that do, and it? Okay, right, let's hit the on. May smoke. Okay, nothing's smoking at the moment. Let's get my meter. Right, what are we putting in? 3.7 we're putting in, and what's coming out? Let's get my leads around the right way. What's coming out? Oh, there's 20 volts coming out now. I need to adjust that down to 10. Let me uh, uh, try and find something that can trim that. All right. Okay. Uh, let's get that somewhere where I can. You can still see and I can twiddle. Right. Okay, well, we got 20 volts. I want about 10. Oops, not that's up. Let's come down. Okay, that's about 10. Alright, let's see what happens if we actually increase the voltage. Alright. Alright, voltage. Alright, let's have a look. 4 volts. Let's do 4.2 because that's like a charged single cell. And yeah, we're so we haven't altered on the output, so that's ideal. I can have me let's turn that off. Look, I can have a nice 18650 on here. And it can go from charge to flat without the output varying. 
the only thing is obviously this could probably uh, suck the lithium ion totally dry and I haven't got any protection and uh, I ain't going to worry too much about that. Okay, hope that was uh, interesting. Many thanks for watching.